hi guys welcome to my channel in this particular video i'm going to show you how to use the t-rack master match to master your music automatically this particular software is like an ai that help mimic a reference track that you like so much and replicate the same quality to your own track so the way this uh, t-rack master match works is like a little bit of ai what actually happens is if the way it works is if you like a certain song and you like the way that particular song is mixed by the mixing and mastery engineer and you want your song to sound similar the same way all you just simply do is to come to this t-rack master match so this is the track master match there is a, an on button here i'm going to put on the on button so you can see the t master match has come up hmm? then we have a place where we can add audio then we have the um playback button of the audio you will add here then we have the first button by the left this first button said is written learn references so this is your reference track so this particular track here is where you're going to be placing your reference track so when you put your reference track here the but this ai when you now click this button when you click this button this particular ai machine will now read the quality of that particular mix and everything the parameters everything that is done in that particular mix the equalization the audio pattern and every other thing so after reading that particular mix is there they will now come to the next button the next button means lens source so this particular lens source is like my audio here this is my audio here so i will now click this button this my button i will now also scan through my audio and learn the present ref, um, uh, equalization nature of my own audio the level quality of my own audio to now also learn it then the third button here says match you know so this particular button will not have to match and improve improve your own low quality to match the quality of your reference track okay we match the quality of your reference track so we also have a button here this is the active button you can just put and put in on then another button is also here so this particular button is the equalization tool so that particular match level this is where you can tighten it you can add quality to it you can also reduce from it so this is where you can measure the quality input that you are putting from the equalization if you have one other thing to adjust then the second level here is called level matching so this particular button helps you to decrease or increase your um quality your rms level this is the button that helps you measure your rms level which is your loudness so after the this tool has matched your audio and it is not loud enough for you simply do is to come to this button and, and make it loud the way you want it to be right so i'm going to start the demonstration right now so that you really know how it works right so first of all the first thing you need to do is to put on your uh, track match master match machine so this is your track master match machine so when you want to add an audio you just simply click this right button mm -hmm. then i will go to my desktop so then you go to the folder where you have your audio that you want to reference that particular song that you like so that you like the mixing and mastering so much you like the way it sounds but my own case i already have a folder here so this particular song is an omale song this particular um low lay low so this lay low i so much love the mixing and mastering because of the clarity and that is what i'm that is the sound i'm going to be using for my reference track the quality of the sound and the equalization is what i'm going to be using although for the purpose of copyright i'm not going to be playing this particular song in here i'm not going to be playing it okay so what i simply need to do i'll just drag it and i'll put it right here so you can see it automatically has load up hmm? so you can see this button is already blinking so it's telling you to click me hmm, to learn the equalization of this particular but before you do that there's something first that you need to do so we need to come to this ai i'll click this i2 then i'll come here we need to push this particular ai to the audio flow track this is here if you don't put it here it will not work if you don't put it here it will not work so we'll just come here see this button here i'll just click it then it will not enter become active in the audio flow in the audio flow track because so this is where the audio flow so that it can take effect on your audio right so we'll now go back and we're just going to click this particular button it said lend references as it is blinking it's telling you to click me click me then you click on the audio then it will now scan your reference track first then i'm going to click right now so you see so it has immediately scan this reference track so you can see the equalization curve the quality curve 
mm, at which this particular reference track is missed. So this is a quality ratio. This is a quality curve mm, of this particular reference track. Okay. So I'm also going to learn source. So it's not telling me that I should do what to to play my own audio to see the standard of the audio, right? To also collect the quality of the audio. So I'm going to click. Once I click, let me come here first. I'm going to click this button. Once I click this button, I will now play the audio so that the AI can listen through and pick the standard. Okay. Now I click. So you can see, say, waiting for audio playback. Look at the signification. Waiting for you, waiting for me to play the audio. Then I will now play the audio. Time for them to realize I ain't got no speed left for the NI. Okay, let's back to you and I just in case you love So the AI is actually wine. listening when to the source. Wine, and I might let you come another time. So, so it is actually recommended that you allow it to play for a while so that it can learn much about it. So it's not telling me to click the source again to stop. Then I will now come here, click it. So guys, as you can see, so this is my missed down audio, okay, that I want to master. This is my missed down audio that I want to master. As you can see, it's below this, uh, my reference track equalization, the quality. You can see they are both different. So what this button is going to do is to help to push this, my own standard, this particular one that is low here, to match, to merge it and match it with this reference track. So what I'm going to do right here is to click match is telling me to match i should match this my miss down track to this reference track okay it's telling me to if i once i click this button now it will now measure this quality enhance this quality to match with this reference track quality watch now right now boom so you can see guys it has automatically match my eh, my ref my missed down track to the standard of the reference track so let's see how it's going to sound time for them to realize i ain't got no speed left for the ni okay let's back to you when i just in case you love to have some wine spend the evening less in touch so guys if you notice it is it has automat my miss down track has automatically improved hmm, to this standard reference track so i'm going to do the before and after so that you see i'm going to off Time for them to realize this is before this is how my reference track my my miss down track was sounding time for them to realize i ain't got no speed left for the end i okay let's back to you and i just in case you love to have some wine spend the evening less in tart wine and i might let you come another time Shorty go. so i'm gonna put after put it on time for them to realize i ain't got no speed left for the end i okay let's back to you and i just in case you love to have some wine spend the evening less in tart wine and i might let you come another so guys you can see how automatically it has just built up the quality and there's another good thing here that is very very interesting about this tool so if you don't like uh, no so i feel that it's not actually loud enough so what i'm going to do is to increase this hmm, to meet up to 9 to 10 rms which time is for them to realize i ain't got no speed left for the ni okay let's back to you and i just in case you love to have some wine spend so what you need to do right now so this particular tool help you to adjust the quality time for them to so the more I push it off, you see the changes. Time for them to realize I ain't got no speed left for the NI. Okay, let's back to you when I just in case you love to have some wine. Spend the evening less in tart wine and I might let you come. The quality is good. So this particular equalizer is also adjustable. So when you come to this line, depending on the area you want to adjust by yourself. So it, it is very, very flexible. All you simply, or you simply do, come to any of the line, double click, and you can see. So once you double click, you can actually move the areas around that you want to adjust you see you can move it around maybe i double click here i could just move it around okay so we also have um here maybe high pass quality time for them to react so we have a limiter here so once you push the limiter it's telling you limit high 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 frequency limit to 20 hertz so depending how you want it how you want the sound to be time for them to realize i ain't got no speed left for the ni okay let's back to you and i just in case you love to have some wine spend the evening less in tart wine and i might let you come another so i'll prefer it like this so if you come also here 
Time for them to realize, realize I ain't So I click it on Time for them to realize I ain't got no speed left for on. Time for them to realize I ain't got no speed left for on. Time for them to realize I ain't got no speed left for on. Time for them to realize I ain't got no speed left for on. Time for them to realize I ain't got no speed left for the end I Bucky realize I ain't got no speed left for the end I Bucky yeah, is back to you when I just in case you love to have some wine Spend the evening less in tart wine And I might let you come another time Shorty got hips and she fine like wine One time let me put it up your spine Got me speeding let me pay that fine Got me speeding I'm with no time Take me back just take me back Girl I'm gonna there for you and I'm gonna be there for you Take me back just take me back Girl I'm gonna there for you and I'm gonna be there for you So guys Girl I want you to take me back This is how you just tweak the whole thing around Okay So depending on the area that you want to adjust, you can just push it around. Time for them to realize I ain't got no speed left for the end. I Buck girl is back to you when I just in case you love to have some wine. Spend the evening less in tart wine and I might let you. So when you want to delete the knob, what you just simply do is to right click and you see they will just go off. But when you left click, hmm, the knob will just come up for you to make adjustments. Mm, so that you can adjust the areas where you want to adjust. So I will just right click to remove the knob. Time for them to realize I ain't got no speed left for the end. I book girl is back to you when I just think. So I'm just gonna adjust the quality of the equalization. So you can see is is affecting everything all together to enhance the quality. Time for them to realize I ain't got no speed left for the end. I book girl is back to you when I just in case you love to have some wine. Spend the evening less in tart wine and I might let you come another time. Shorty girl hips and she fine like wine. So in case you don't you have done this and you also want to bring in another reference for you to measure your to be able to match your audio your miss down, you can also come here come to number two. Mm, you can bring in another reference for example i'll just come here bring in another track maybe i like this particular reference and i'll put it there then if you want to remove this number one or you just simply do click this x button mm, to remove that particular one then you come to number two okay then it's not telling me to do what to match to learn this particular one i just bring in again i'll just click this learn button so you can see for them. it has brought hmm, this particular new track reference for me. This is the reference. This is the EQ curve. So it's asking me to learn my own new source so that it can be able to match from the, to the reference. So I'll just click. So it's telling me to play my audio right now so that it can the AI can study and learn take the I can learn my own audio process. Time for them to realize I ain't got no speed left for the end. I book girl is back to you when I just in case you love to have some wine. Spend the evening. So it's asking me to so click this button again time. so that it will take like the one time. EQ. Let me put it up your spine. So you can see. So it has just taken the what the EQ. So the next button is telling me to match this particular miss down quality to the reference quality. I'll just click this. You see, automatically it has just matched. Time for them to realize I ain't got no speed left for the end. I book girl is back to you when I just in case you love to have some wine. Spend the evening less in tart wine and I might let you come another time. Shorty girl hips and she fine like wine. One time, let me put it up your spine. Got me speeding, let me pay that fine. Got me speeding, I won't waste no time. Take me back, just take me back. Wow, you agree with me that this is very, very awesome. Okay, so when you want to remove this track, or you just simply do this reference track, you want to bring in another reference track. Okay, if you don't like this one, just go to this X button and all that. So you can actually make do with three reference track. So this one is empty. You can add here the second time we, the second one we second track we have an audio there. So this is the third one we also have an audio. So you can actually experiment with three different track that you like. So the one that best suits your own mix down is what is what you're going to what allow so now that our audio has been marked to our reference track what we need to do is i'm just going to export this audio and use or save it to the artist okay so i'll come down here this is my export button i just come down i go to spdif then i just go to my desktop just go to my tutorial Take me back, Crypt Touch. So 
So this is my audio right here. So guys, if you notice this audio is sounding very punchy, very strong and also very right. So definitely this particular audio is sounding exactly or very close, almost exactly to that reference track we just put in there. So this is how you get the same quality of a professionals from the reference tracks that you use okay so this is how to master your beat with ai so do where to find this plugin subscribe to this channel and make sure you watch the next video because the next video is, the next video is very very informative okay and don't forget to subscribe and also join our music free music production telegram class the link is in the description below of this video so make sure you check that check out that link and join our class right now so guys see you guys in the next video Time for them to realize I ain't got no spill for the end. I but girl is back to you when I just in case you love to have some wine. Spend the evening less in tart wine and I might let you come another time. Shorty got hips and she fine like wine. One time, let me put it up your spine. Got me speeding, let me pay that fine. Got me speeding, I won't waste no time. Take me back, just take me back.